YouTube. NecroVMX here. And uh, is an update video, kind of a follow-up to yesterday's, which is mostly about Hitomi's and just... Oh, God, man. What a... Co this has been, like, one of the worst weeks ever. Let me tell you guys. Um, this whole situation had been stretching me out. Uh, stretching me out. Stressing me out so much. I didn't get stretched out, thankfully. Um, so the good news is, uh, due to, uh, the video and the post that I made on social media, uh, she's covered. Uh, we got enough money. Well, she got enough money. I didn't get shit, but <laughs> she got enough money to cover for it. As a matter of fact, one of my old subscribers from way, way back in the day contacted me. And I'm sorry that I just, I'm not feeling well, so I'm just kind of doing this. I'm still feeling sick. I feel better yesterday than I did today. But today was a really rough day for me, which I'm going to tell you guys about. So one of my old subscribers from way, way back in the day, a guy I haven't, literally haven't heard from in five years. I guess he still watches the videos. He just doesn't comment much. And um, he actually lives in Japan and is looking to, it's not a sure thing, of course, but is looking into the possibility of getting her a job, which is really cool. Um, she'd have to relocate uh, quite a ways away from her. But I, I personally think it's very promising, and it's not like there's that many other opportunities, obviously. Um, there were some nasty comments. I took them off. You know, people left nasty comments on the last video, and that's just, like, fucking stupid. Some people even went and they left Hitomi nasty comments, and, like, they sent her messages and shit. Thankfully, she didn't see much of it because her brother uh, went and deleted them all, but he was really pissed off about it. And, uh, you know, whoever did that, you know, you're, you're a fucking dick. Um, the one person that I know that did it, uh, had also left a comment on my video and I, I banned them. So, you know, like, fuck you, dude, you're a fucking asshole. He sent her like really racist messages too. like, what a fucking asshole. But anyway, let me, uh, I just wanted to let you guys know, you know, just like breathe a sigh of relief. If you still want to donate, you can just for like, like, so she could have like food and other expenses, but, um, back up blurry all of a sudden, but rent is, rent is covered. I was not off light. That's what it is. So anyway, um, Oh God, I like, I still have this cold. Um, it's getting a little better, but I push it really hard today and I really feel like shit right now. Let me tell you guys what happened to me. It's kind of an interesting story. So I've been having a problem with, uh, the tires on my car recently. Um, they were getting kind of old and worn out. And, uh, recently, um, I had this problem where this one tire had gone flat. I was driving around in town. This is about, I want to say about six, seven months ago. This is, what, this is how long this has been going on. This one tire went flat and uh, I got it replaced because it was, it was really shot. I got it replaced at this place in town. So, um, <coughs> oh God. So I got it replaced and about a week later, I noticed that the, the, the pressure on it was really low. So I took it back there. And I said, hey, the, the tire that you just sold me is low. And the guy looked at it, and he put some air in it. And he's like, I can't really look at it right now. Like, could you come back tomorrow? I'll just put enough air in it. So and I came back the next day. And he said he took it off, and there was a nail in it, he said. And I think it had to do with the fact that my landlord had been renovating um, his house. And uh, he had, like, all this construction stuff going on, and there was, like... You know, there was dumpsters and stuff, and maybe there were nails involved, you know. So there was that. And another thing is the McDonald's, which is uh, about five minutes away from my house, was renovating. And I don't eat there a lot, but I play Pokemon Go, and there's, like, a lot of spawns there. So I do pull into McDonald's a lot for Pokemon Go. Um, so, you know, that could have been it, because they were renovating there, too. They completely remodeled the whole shit. So anyway, you know, he fixes it. It costs like $5. Like on top of the fact that the tire itself costs like something like $45. So um, then a couple weeks later, again, it starts going low again because I'm keeping an eye on this shit, you know, and it's like a consistent thing. So I brought it back and I'm like, dude, what the fuck again? So he looks at it and this time he says, oh, the valve stem is bad. And he replaces the valve stem. He didn't charge me nothing on that. And it kept happening. And eventually it stopped happening. Like there was like another thing where he said, oh, there's another nail or something like that. I never had this problem before. I've never had so many flat tires. And then like another tire went and I'm like, well, you know, the tires are getting old. So I started replacing them one by one. And I got to the point where pretty much like they're all new tires. 
and everything was going pretty well. This is months later. This is about, now we're up to about a month ago, a little less than a month ago, but last month. So anyway, I got this tire. It is like the last tire I needed. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a pretty good tire. And, and you know, today it, it was flat. I got out of work and, uh, it was flat. So I, I actually had a can of fix a flat, uh, in my car. It was, it was not a full can, but it, you know, I put that in it and that, that pumped it up a little bit. And then I went to, uh, about two blocks away to where there was a gas station that had, uh, air, you know, for 50 cents. And I put some air in it. But and there were these kids that fly, that had flagged me down and uh, were helping me too. So anyway, um, but you could hear the air rushing out of it. So it's like obviously I'm not going to make it back to uh, the place that I normally go to. So there was a, these kids told me about this. I, I call them kids; they're like 20. But uh, there's this place nearby, right? So I go there. It's like it's like another like three blocks away. So I go there and I tell them, look, I need a tire, like right now you know and they're like no problem blah 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 you know so they're working on it and i'm like i get out of work at five it's friday i get paid on fridays right and i get my paycheck and what i normally do is i go to the town that i live near i don't really live in a town yeah i live in the country but there's a town that i live near and that's where my bank is and that's in the opposite direction of where i go to work but uh, it's about a 20 minute drive from where I work to the bank. So I get there around five 30, generally speaking, and I deposit my check and then it goes in the next day and I have money the next day. And I was running a little low on money because, uh, you know, I don't make a lot of money and, and some shit, you know? So anyway, I only had like about $50 left, but I have this paycheck but here's the thing. I'm starting to worry. I'm not going to get to the bank in time, right? So, um, you know, I'm like, oh, these guys are working on it really fast. And then I realized I opened my wallet to get out my credit card because I got to pay these people. I don't have my fucking credit card. And I realize there's this kid at work and uh, he goes and he, run, he, he runs to get lunch. And I gave him my credit card to pay for lunch. And he, he forgot to give it back to me. And I forgot to ask him for it. So I call work hoping that they're still there. My friend Brandon's there. He answers the phone. He's like, blah, blah, blah. and I'm like, is Joey still there? Like, yeah. I put him on the fucking phone. It's like, okay. I was like, I'm not usually this tense, intense with people, especially when I'm not feeling well. And I hadn't been feeling well. And I've been really kind of low key this whole week because of the situation that I'm in sickness wise and the stress and everything. I feel a little bit better because the cold is starting to lighten up a little. And because the Hitomi situation has gotten better. But anyway, um, I, I fucking, you know, I get I'm like, do you have my credit card? And he's like, oh shit, yeah, I do. And I was like, look, I'm getting a tire. I'm at, I gave him the name of the tire place. I gave him the, I didn't give him the address, but I said, it's on Main Street. Do you know where it is? And he goes, yeah, I know where that is. I was like, come over here, like right now. So I just explained it to the people. They're like, oh, it's cool. Yeah, we'll wait. We're up until six. And I'm like, well, my bank's only up until six. So literally like 10 minutes goes by and I'm like, it's only a couple of blocks. <coughs> oh God. It's only a couple of blocks and I'm starting to freak out. So I call back. I'm like, Brandon. Yeah. Did Joey leave yet? Yeah. He left a while ago. He ain't here yet. He knows where this place is, right? Well, he said he did. Another five minutes go by. He could have walked there and back in this amount of time. It's, it's literally like, I know I said I went three blocks and then I went like another three blocks, but really like I, I went like a triangle. Like if let's say work is here, right here, here's work. And then I went here and then I went here. So it's like, it's still three blocks away from work. So I'm like, where the fuck is this kid? Did he fucking run off with my credit card so he could steal the money? I don't fucking have. Right. Oh, and, and, and I had gotten, and then my sister's calling me telling me that her fucking Amazon account got hacked. I guess Amazon got hacked. She's all right. She's working on, I mean, uh, they didn't take out much. They didn't buy a lot, but it hit her with like overdraft fees because her paycheck hadn't gone in. So she called the bank and they, they fixed all that. So that's a problem. It's not as bad as the Equifax thing. So anyway, 
she's calling me and I'm like, I can't talk right now. I'm looking for this kid, my fucking credit card. So anyway, um, I didn't even tell her that. I was like, look, I I can't talk right now. I'll I'll call you back later. I got to tell you a lot of shit. So anyway, uh, I fucking, I'm freaking out. Because I'm thinking, this kid fucking took my credit card, and like he's like, fuck it, I'm going home, or whatever. And I gotta pay these people. I don't have cash. I mean, I have cash, but not $40, because that's what it's gonna cost for the tire. I don't have a fucking checkbook. I'm like, what the fuck am I gonna do? So like, I start call back. Brandon's gone for the day. I call uh, another number at work. Nobody's answered. I start calling people at work who... We're off today, but I didn't have their number. Finally, I get somebody. I'm like, do you have Joey's cell phone number? And this guy, I call, he he's not my boss, but he's he's this kid's boss. And he has a really bad eyesight, and he's trying to read it off of his phone. And no joke, guys, this guy has a flip phone. He legit, 2017, dude, he drives a really nice car. He's got like a, like a fucking like Dodge Challenger or some shit. Like, I think, actually, I don't know what it is, but it's a really fucking sweet car. He makes money, but he's got a flip phone, and, he and the guy's eyesight is so bad. He's stubborn. He, he's he's in in, in uh, denial about getting old. Won't wear glasses, so he's like trying to read. It. He gave me the wrong number like three times in a row because he can't read it off of his fucking potato phone screen. He finally gave me the right number. The phone is off. I call it, goes straight to voicemail. And I'm like, fucking hell, what's going on? What am I going to do? I'm panicking now. Finally, he calls me, the kid. And I'm like, where the fuck are you? And he's like, yo, where is this place? And I'm like, I told you where it is. It's behind. I was like, look, it's behind the bowling alley. And he's like, oh, I thought you said it was on Main Street. I said, it's on fucking Main Street. He's like, no, it's not. And I'm like, it is on fucking Main Street. I'll show you the fucking address. Just get here, please. I'm in a bit of a time crunch. So finally, he gets to me. He gets me my card. He apologizes. I'm like, whatever. It's cool, man. Now, it's 10 to 6. There is no way that I could get from I could get from work to home in 10 minutes. I can get from home to the bank in 10 minutes. But from work to the bank is 20 minutes. There's no way I'm going to make it. So I call the bank, and I'm like, I can't get there in time today. I know you guys are about to close. And they're like, what are your Saturday hours? I say, oh, from like 9 till 12 or some shit, right? I'm like, all right, you know, that's cool. I can get there in the morning. But if I put a check, because normally I put a check in Friday, it's available Saturday. But now I'm thinking, it might not be available till Monday. I ain't got no damn money till Monday. You know, I don't really got, I got like a little bit of cash, you know? And, and you know, I had money. And now I don't, because I just paid for this fucking tire. I had just enough money for this tire. Now I got $6. That's what I got in my fucking bag account, you guys. So I got $6. I call the bank, and I'm like, look, if I come there in the morning, and I put this check in, will it be in that day? Or will it be in on Sunday? Or will it be in on Monday? And they're like, oh, it's going to be on a Monday. And I'm like, well, that really sucks. So... You know, it, it's already kind of taken care of because my, my sister is going to give me like $40 uh, for the weekend. And then I'm going to just pay her back on Monday. So we're cool. That I was like, so I call her and I'm telling her this story. And she's like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Like, you've had a hell of a day. And she's aware of like, you know, Hitomi and, 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 and everything and the fact that I'm sick. You know, she was joking about like, oh, you're not really sick. You have allergies. I'm like, no, I'm fucking sick. It's been three days. I have a cold. So. You know, she's aware that I'm not feeling well. I'm stressed the fuck out. And then this on top of it is fucking crazy. So she's like, do you need money? And I'm like, yeah, but don't you have your own shit going on with the bank? And she's like, oh, yeah, but that's all taken care of. So she's like, I can give you $40. And I'm like, shit, I'll take $40 because I can use some fucking food. I got no fucking food in the house. So I got like enough for like fucking like dinner today is going to be like fucking McDonald's. <laughs> Hey, I'll catch the Pokemon while I'm over there. So anyway, that's how to do. So it kind of, you know, I think it's a, it, I think you guys will think this story is funny. For me, it was a stressful story and I feel like shit right now, but I think you guys will find the humor in it. And I think that eventually, like, like a couple of days from now, when everything's fine and the money's in there and everything, I'm going to think it's funny, but I wanted to give you guys an update, let you know that, um, 
Hitomi safe. She's got the rent taken care of. If you guys still want to donate, um, I'm not going to put the link in the description of this video because, you know, whatever. But you can look at the last video or, or like Potato Cast or whatever you want. The link to her PayPal. But, uh, you know, if you want to give her money for like food or uh, whatever, because she does need that kind of stuff. But uh, she's covered for rent, which is like the most like important thing. Um and I just want to say, like, if you're a kind of person that's like, I only want to see gameplay, I don't want to hear about this kind of stuff, don't click on these videos. If you see my face, don't click on it then. I mean, it's fucking stupid. Like, I got this guy who complained. He's like, uh, oh, I'm getting sick of requests for money for a Tommy. I was like, well, then don't click on a video about that. I mean, yeah, I use a clickbait title, and I also put in the title that it was clickbait. I thought that was funny. I really did. I thought that was very funny. But, like, whatever the fuck, you know? Like, And I, I, I was trying to find out... Because I, I was like, you, you know, I told her, I was like, tell me who these people are and I'll fucking ban them. And she's like, oh, I can't find them messages anymore. I think my brother deleted it. I, I told her brother, I was like, next time you tell me. And he's like, yeah, no problem. So anyway, uh, I'm going to go take some fucking day quill because uh, I, I feel like shit. And I, I got home about a half hour ago and just like basically flopped out in bed and called my sister and uh, had that conversation. And, uh, you know, uh, unfortunately, she can't come and bring me the money today because she's going out in the opposite direction for something else is her kid uh my nephew bobby got like a really good grade or something and she's rewarding him with uh like a pizza or something which i think is pretty cool so anyway uh i just want to give you guys an update uh because i'm probably not going to be able to do potato guys i have a really good potato cast plan uh with a really great topic i kind of hinted at it in my last video but a really great topic but i really don't have much of a voice right now and i'm all stuffed up i sound nasally as shit so maybe next week, if I'm feeling better, I'll do potato cast and, uh, yeah. See you guys. Peace.